Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for his presence. And um, I just want to continue in that presence. Hallelujah. How nice and awesome to come to the presence of God this morning. And I want to congratulate all the participants yesterday as um, they were so hardworking and enthusiastic. And I congratulate Joby brother and Shaji brother for their hard work and all the teachers did an excellent job. I thank God for all the children. They are the future of this church and continue to pour into them so they will continue to the ministry God has entrusted in this city. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may be wondering why I am here. <laughs> I am a backup to the backup. Last minute, they chose me to speak today. And I thank God for the opportunity uh, God has given me. And thank the church for that. And we are continuing uh, in the series of new way of living. And uh, we are in the topic of uh, fruit bearing. So it's a new fruit, right? We have to change our old ways and walk in the newness of God. And I want to read from Galatians 5, 22 to 23. It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness and self-control. I know this word starts with, but the fruit of the Spirit is. So who gives the fruit in our life? With our own effort, we cannot bear fruit. But the Holy Spirit, which is dwelling in us, dwelling in, in, within us, bears fruit within us. That is the one, the fruit of the Spirit is. Atma vinde palaman. Hallelujah. How many of you really realize that when you cherish the Holy Spirit, walk in His ways, He is go going to give us the fruit in our life. These are the nine attributes the person who lives according to the Holy Spirit and led by the Holy Spirit can bear fruit. For example, Peter was a very um, anxious person. When he was asked to listen, he would speak. Or he, before anything, he would act. Before thinking, he would cut the ear of the servant in the Gethsemane. He was so anxious. When Jesus was walking on the water, who jumps in the water first? Peter. So he has zero patience in many things. But when the Holy Spirit baptism he got, he was transformed. And he was, you know, they put him, persecuted him, put him in jail. Even James was killed. And it was the, James was killed and he was arrested to kill and to be uh, put to death. But he, what he was doing, he was sleeping in the calmness of the Holy Spirit. And the angel of the Lord has to come and wake him up. You see the difference, what happens when the Holy Spirit comes in our life. And today I want to talk about one of the fruit that is patience. That uh, my title of the message is, Are You Patient? We all have problem, some way or the other. The day we decide to be patient, that is the day that the enemy comes to <laughs> fail in our patience. So we have to bear fruit of patience. So I, I, God has been working in my life, so um, I want to share with you what God has lied in my heart. This is the most unpopular uh, uh, fruit that we can find, right? If anybody asks you, you want joy? Yes, I want joy, I want love, kindness, everything. But do you want patience? You will say, mm, I have to think about it, right? It is like a curry leaf in the Indian kitchen. When you find curry leaf, children don't want curry leaf in the curry, but the adults, they put away, collect it and throw it away. It's like patience. Nobody wants to wait for something that you have been um, working on or waiting for something eagerly. Nobody wants to wait for anything, right? We are living in a 21st century and we are the now generation, like Amazon shipping was there and it was become prime. Now it is Amazon now because it is fast and easier you just click it and you get it at your doorstep we have all, everything online grocery picking and fiber internet the speed is not enough so it's become fiber uh, through fiber we get our internet so it's easier to connect to a computer than the commitment of our relationships 
that's why we, uh, social medias are so famous these days online friends are better than the real friends who needs commitment facebook uh, likes are better than the real life lessons we ha we like to be seen than to be served we like platforms than processes deliverance than discipleship success than the stewardship wealth than the wisdom so we all like immediate things uh, immediate satisfaction in our life so the lack of patience uh, led to all this everybody is in a hurry to achieve something in their life so this has crept into our church killing our spiritual life we spend less money less time in spending in in the presence of god we make the church services shorter and shorter and our family prayers are almost extinguished every day because we have no time to pray our thing so what we are doing in a sunday school is we are encouraging everybody to spend time with god and you, as a parents we need to remind them did you spend time with god hallelujah that is how they can develop patience in their life what is patience it is surrendering to god's timing and his will it is just waiting upon with expectation from god examples like um, i was uh, ready to come to america finished all the exam but the visa door was closed and i had to wait nine long years to come here but i know behind the back god was working orchestrating his plan and purpose in my life otherwise i would have been a nurse in florida somewhere attending a church but god had a divine plan and patiently waiting for his plan and time will bring it to pass his divine promises in our life god we may be thinking like i have patience but god's expectation of patience is forgiving a person seven times 70 in a day i don't think anybody has that but if you have you can see me later i want to see what you're doing you can forgive your husband or a wife 70 times in a day and your children can be forgiven 70 times seven so that is the amount of uh, expectation god is having with us with regards to patience two types of patience that is we are waiting for god for something that what we are looking for or pay, moving with god's speed for example you are waiting to get married as a youth you may be waiting to get married and wait for the god's timing not excel exp, expediting what god is thing whatever time god wants you to bring that blessing in your life you wait and also wait for what is result for marriage for the marriage how many people of us struggle with the patience in our life we have to accept many times we say i lost my patience this they have tested my last nerve all that we say because we are losing our patience in hebrews 6:12 it says we read like this do not be become sluggish imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises so only through faith and patience we can inherit our promises we have a promise of eternal life we can only inherit that through our patience and faith we know the great heroes of faith they waited and be patient to obtain their promise noah preached over 100 years patiently abraham waited 25 years for a promised son joseph was 13 years through all the affliction in his life and david waited almost 13 years to be a king moses 40 years i don't want to hear jesus waited even though he was god fully god fully man he waited 30 years to start uh, his ministry but when we are 18 sometimes we lose patience being under someone and i want to talk today about uh, patience from the book of james chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 it says my brother and count it all joy when you are fall into trials knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience we as adults we have been through many trials in our life being sometimes it's so um, tearful or painful to remember we went through that test or the sickness or whatever it is but here james is encouraging us count it all joy that you fall into trials in your life many trials were there count it all joy that 
you went through that trial because that trial has made you very patient person or who you are today is because what god took you through in different situation and trial and it developed a patience behavior in your life in words four says but let the patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing so patience makes us perfect and complete spiritually and it's working there is a work going on when we are patient and forgiving and tolerating people around us or the family members so in the book of james three areas he encourages us to be patient or have a extra dose of patience in our life james chapter 5 verse 7 he says be patient in our circumstances that is uncontrollable sometime in our life the situation we go through we cannot control we have no hold over it so it says therefore be patient brother until the coming of the lord so till when we have to be patient one day one week one year no till the jesus christ come or till the end of our life we have to be patient in our life so he says a example of farmer who waits for the precious fruit of the earth waiting patiently until he receives the early and later rain so here the farmer doesn't know whether rain comes or there is a tornado that is ahead he doesn't know anything he cannot control any situation how is the market going to be when he has put so much effort and labor and when he is harvesting the rate the value of that crop may go down he has no control over anything but he still continue to seed uh, sow the seed by faith that is the way we should be in our situation whatever it is he is trusting the god who gave rain in the previous years he is still faithful to give the rain that is what should be our experience we may be go through sickness which has no recovery or unemployment you are waiting for admission to a college or you are you are wanting to be used by god and you are waiting and seeking and nothing is happening you have come to a dead end and we can still hope in god and wait in anticipation so when we wait we are anticipating in his word and we are waiting and keep sowing the good seed and we can be harvested with a good crop amen hallelujah how how much it is the only you have a you want to become a you, ha, you want to have a good family life you want to have a good career you want to have a good education the payment is only by patience you go to aldi you have a lot of money in your purse right you have credit cards you have debit cards lot of money in the bank but they want 25 cents <laughs> quarter to get the cart from the aldi if you don't have that you never get the cart from aldi that is the one thing that we think that payment is sometime cash only you cannot pay with anything in else in your life so the one you want to achieve anything in god's presence you have to wait the promise to obtain promise the payment is just patience you have to be patient in his presence and you will obtain the promise secondly so the circumstances may be uncontrollable in your life and still uh, james encouraging us to hope in god be patient and there is a second one is um, he's encouraging us when we have unchangeable people difficult people to deal with james chapter 5 verse 10 it says my brother and take prophets who spoke the name of the lord as an example of suffering and patience so in old testament the prophets of god faithfully preached the word of god to the stubborn stiff necked people and they did not change they didn't want to accept they persecuted them they went through a lot of trouble like isaiah preached for 60 years about the god's word jeremiah preached 50 years about the exile but people wouldn't believe him so they persons are difficult sometime in in your job in your school some teachers are hard you have to be patient so maybe in the family someone is um, hard they you have explained to them you the truth and you can clearly see by changing this they can change their um, destiny but still they are not willing to change so there we need a extra dose of patience in our life 
Like when we are praying for somebody to be saved or we are sharing gospel to someone who is not listening. It may take years of prayer and tears, but still if we have patience, God is going to bring it to pass. For example, we in our house lately, I found that whatever um, the containers I take, I don't close properly. So when my husband has a habit of taking the containers from top and it all opens and falls apart and um, he, he has to have a lot of patience with me too. I want to change, but there is some difficulty that I, I cannot change. So each day we have some difficult situation that we are working on. So we should have a p- extra patience with each other so that we can have glorify the name of God. So the third thing the James is encouraging us, be patient in our pain that is unexplainable. Unexpl- James chapter 5 verse 11, indeed we count them blessed who endure and heard, um, you have heard the perseverance of Job and seen the end of indent by the Lord. The Lord is very compassionate and merciful. So he is giving an example of Job who is lost everything, his wealth, 10 children and his health, family and friends. He lost everything in a day and still he was able to sustain through it and please God at the end. God was able to honor him, restore him double at the end. Why? He, we know that he is known for his patience. When he is going through pressure of life, losses of life, whatever come, he was content with the patient and in Job chapter 1 verse 21 and 22 very familiar to us it says what he did in his in the midst of his difficulties and challenges he says the Lord gave the Lord has taken away blessed be the name of the Lord in all this Job did not sin nor charge against God amen hallelujah he was able to keep his focus on God and not only that he did, he was able to bless the name of God. How many of us are ready or made a decision that whatever situation I am facing in in my life, whatever challenges, whatever things are coming in my life, I am going to bless the name of the Lord and I am not going to blame God. I am going to sustain through this. This is a decision we make right now so that we can face the challenges in our life. What decision he made? In Job 13, 15, it says, Though he slay me, yet I trust him. Hallelujah. I defend my own ways before him. So even though he is going to be killed, he is going to trust God. Hallelujah. How many of us have that trust? Hallelujah. When something losses in our life, we blame God or situation or people. But uh, Job was ready to, even though he was killed, he was going to trust and defend his ways. He was always know that his ways are clear before him. What was the hope of Job in Job chapter 19 verse 25 and 26 today in the worship team? They were uttering this word. I know my redeemer lives. He shall he shall make even though I got destroyed, I shall see my God. Amen. Sotra. We might have uh, difficulties. We may be completely removed from this world, but we shall see God. We have an eternity to spend with God. This may be in a long robe. It is a short life we have. It's like a dot in the eternity comparison, but we know that we are going to live forever. Hallelujah. Because our Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. He has paid the paid price for us and he is living God. Not like any other God, but our God is living and we have a hope in our life and we have an eternity to spend with our God. Hallelujah. As Psalm David says, I will wait for the Lord. My soul waits. In his word I hope. Amen. Hallelujah. When we don't know what to do, we will wait for God with the word of God and a hope of the future. Amen. Hallelujah. That is what we the hope is the key and the word of God is the the thing that sustain us through everything that we go through. Amen. What is the secret Job has to sustain? Be patient in his situation is Job chapter 29 verse 19 says, my root is 
spread out to the waters my dew lies on my branch all night ende ver vellatholam und hallelujah udamana shandara the outside people cannot see nobody will know your family members will not know hallelujah your root hallelujah that is a secret nobody will see the root is hallelujah deep down the relationship with the savior is so much deep hallelujah that whatever dryness is outside the inside root is with connected with the rivers of water from above amen hallelujah that nobody hallelujah knows that all night the dew that is from heaven nothing from this earth it's from heaven that will be on our, his branch hallelujah he is confident of that doesn't matter what he loses or 10 uh, grave in front of him is not moving him hallelujah because of the secret that he is having confidence in god amen hallelujah you may think those who are loving those who are faithful both those who are serving only get reward right sometimes we think there is a crown of life for those who given up life for everything but i want to encourage you today those who wait upon the lord also has reward reward in 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 this life and the life to come psalm 40 words 1 to 4 i wait patiently for the lord he inclined to me he heard my prayer he brought me out of the horrible pit amen if you wait upon the lord in your situation in your difficulties and challenges he is going to come down to you and turn around your situation for you and he will make you uh, stand on a rock that is jesus christ hallelujah not only that he will establish every step of the way how many of us went through such difficulties we lost all our hope but today we can say yes he established my steps every steps he led me was guided by the god hallelujah, hallelujah. not only is that he will give you a new song in your mouth and praises and a testimony to share with people who are around and you will be a blessed man of god or a woman of god in this life hallelujah isaiah in uh, it says if you wait upon the lord you will never be put to shame in isaiah 49:23 isaiah 64:4 4 says God will act on your behalf hallelujah those who are we know we waited upon so many situation we prayed and God worked on our behalf amen hallelujah there were situation we could not do anything hallelujah we were praying for Elsa we could not do anything but we prayed faithfully and God worked hallelujah she was able to stand up today hallelujah what a testimony we have God will work for us those who wait upon the God we are not dependent on anybody in this world but on God so he will work on our behalf I say a 40 31 very familiar uh, scripture God's but those who wait upon the Lord he renews their strength hallelujah they will mount up like eagles hallelujah if you are think in this situation I'm going to be weak I'm going to be destroyed I have my name is going to be spoiled or anything you may be thinking but if you are waiting on God he will strengthen you hallelujah he will increase your strength so that you can run like eagle hallelujah run without weary walk without fainting in your life hallelujah what a what a blessing that we have hallelujah when we read in hebrews about abraham he was patiently endured so he obtained his promise amen to endure he has to lie down his favorite pleasing thing on the altar hallelujah sometime you you may be whatever your f- uh, favorite thing or dear to your heart you have to lay down at the altar but never mind hallelujah he was he believed that out of the ashes my god can rise sons for me hallelujah he had a promise but still he was faithful to lay down his son on the altar and he was able to obtain the promise hallelujah what a wonder wonderful god we have in luke 21 19 it says uh, that do, he was talking about persecution and last days and uh, Jesus was encouraging him them by your patience possess your soul today we are worried about our soul and eternity by patience we can possess our soul in conclusion I want to encourage you that can you think you can bear love all other fruits without patience you can bear love kindness goodness gentleness peace without patience 
Yes, everything need patience in our life so that we can walk all other uh, fruits in our life. Hallelujah. In the parable of the seed, the, the seed which fell on the good soil, he says, by hearing the word, hold fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience in Luke 18, 15. So the, the word of God has fallen in good soil. How it is giving 100 fold, 60 fold, 30 fold fruit in this because it's holding in our heart. We have to hold that word that we heard today and hold it in our heart, be in the honest heart and bear fruit with patience. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to pray with you all. How many of you decide that we have a struggle in our patience? We need to be more patient in our life and we want to surrender our life to God and uh, we want to take victory over this aspect in our life and let us pray. Heavenly Father, Father, as worship team is coming forward, hallelujah. Udaba Shandara Digal, hallelujah. Let us surrender ourselves, hallelujah, into the presence of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Rabba Shandara, hallelujah, Lord. We have heard, hallelujah. We have difficulties, we have challenges. We are, hallelujah, sometimes put in a difficult situation. But, Lord, we want to trust you. We want to hope in you, Lord. We want to make a decision to serve you, to lift your name, to praise you, to worship you Lord Jesus hallelujah we thank you Lord Jesus for your grace and mercy that is abounding in Job's life oh Lord will abound towards our families oh Lord our children each individual in this church oh Lord those who are listening to me Lord be renewed with strength oh Lord as they wait upon something in their life oh Lord from God oh Lord Jesus let your pay mercy reign over them oh Lord Jesus we thank you we praise you Lord we give you all the glory oh Lord Jesus let uh, Lord Jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. This word bear fruit in the days to come, O oh Lord, in our heart, O oh Lord, in our harness heart, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Strengthen us to be patient, O oh Lord. We thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.